Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. This is just to be a real quick uh, update video. I came through and set up some beehives. I figure, why in the world don't I have like a ton of them? I that, that used to be what I wanted to do was be a commercial beekeeper, but the money just wasn't there and the survivability of the bees is just not good enough anymore to really make a go at it. So I went over to the bee and wasp removal side of it. I still keep honeybees to also, but the bee and wasp side of it is what actually pays the bills. So I figured, hey, <laughs> I've got a farm in the game. I might as well live out my dream in the game. So we're starting out with these hives, and we're going to set yards up all over the place. I want to have a huge honey operation. On top of everything else, we're going to have our mining and our logging and, and stuff like that. I went on to the mod hub and found this is a, a honey honey hive, honey pallet location. So this is where the pallets will be located. And it, what it does is it actually processes the honey. It, it's kind of like an extracting room. Um, let's see, we'll go into the menu here. See, it's got the honey stores. I'm hoping that it goes right from the hives and pallets up here. Seeing when I went to place this building, it told me I could only have one per location because I had one of those uh, square uh, pallet locations on the property so we will see how it goes uh, we've got those hives over here I used to have a, a location in the real world that kind of looked like this it was up against the fence, the fence uh, with bushes but I had it was 20 I had 22 hives in a row but they were right in a row they weren't offset like this I had them all side by side I did have a second yard that had 18 hives that were more set up like this, um, but it was more like three layers back, and then went around the corner, like if it was going this way, they would be facing that way, and then I had, uh, I think it was like six or seven hives going this way. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to some of my past real life beekeeping videos from back in the 90s. But basically this was just a real quick uh, video to kind of show my process. Uh, health, 10%. That's not good. I wouldn't think. Uh, okay, well, they've got plenty of food. Um, uh, let's see, I don't think there was anything else that I hadn't shown in the last update. Or maybe I didn't know. Actually, I, I don't know if I had showed. I had got some props. So I got my wood pile. I've got some extra pallets here. I have to move those over to the other building. Because I had them set up back here. Because this is where I had my honey drop location. Got four hives in my back in the backyard. Real world, I had eight. Got my swing set. A little seat to sit. Watch. I got the little shed where we can put our lawnmower and things like that. I still have to pick up a lawnmower because my grass is going to be getting long and I'm going to want to cut the grass around the hives and stuff like that too. So I think that will be in the next episode uh, where I'll go oh, get myself a, a lawnmower from the shop and get it over. I only have 33000 I spent a ton. I had to uh, take out a lot of loans to get the, the hives. <clears throat> well, that's what, when I was looking into doing commercial beekeeping, the I was looking at buildings and I was looking at all the equipment and the bees and everything. And back in the early, in the mid 90s when I was looking into it, uh, it was gonna be, it, I think, it, to get 300 hives with the trucks and the equipment and the building, it was gonna be right around 500,000 to get going uh, 
so that was kind of the, the killer <laughs> to my dream of that side of it. Uh, so I, I went from my 60 hives down to just a couple. And I started the bee and wasp removal part of it that has very little overhead every year. And then I still get bees because I do bee removals and I don't kill them, so. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember, should please smash that like button, comment down below what you think. Let me know if you're a beekeeper, if you like bees, if you're looking into beekeeping or anything like that. Let me know. I've been doing it for almost 30 years now, so you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlist and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.